Hi everyone, and thank you for watching. I haven't been in a place like this in my whole life. A place where there's this much cold weather and this much snow on a regular basis. Right now I'm in the Midwestern United States. <laughs> and I'm waking up every morning. I'm trying to I'm getting my runs I'm running in the snow early in the morning and it's a huge challenge and I guess I'm just mentally strengthening my mind because it's definitely a challenge but I'm at the park uh, I see there's children on sleds in the background they're sliding down the hill you might see them and I decided to make a video on this fine beautiful day Today is January the 20th, and it's a special day, actually, astrologically, because the planet Pluto is has just crossed over into Aquarius from Capricorn. It was in there early. It was in there for about two months last year, but uh, it's it's going to be in Aquarius for pretty much the whole year and it's gonna go back into Capricorn for like a couple more months and then it's gonna stay in Aquarius for the, for the next 20 years so there's some really powerful energy shifts happening right now in the world so pay attention to what's transforming and what's going on and if you're an Aquarius person or a person that has a, a lot of Aquarian power in your <laughs> In your uh, your astrological information, you're gonna be you're gonna be a, a probably a leader or someone you're gonna be called to to stand up and, and come into your power during these times. That's the planet Pluto is about deep hidden power, or you've been waiting for your opportunity to to use your power, to use your gift, and. These powers are usually uh, something that um, kind of maybe is hurts, is difficult in the beginning, but later on they're a big deal. And you, once you you get used to the energy of them, of how the power works, it's you, you learn that you you have a gift, and it's up to you to use that gift in the best way that you see fit to benefit, hopefully the world, but and benefit yourself as well. So this video is going to be about the flat earth theory. Flat earth theory. I've been wanting to do this video for a, for a long time. And I finally got around to doing it. Now let me make one thing clear right from the beginning. I am not an advocate of the flat earth. There's some things that that are uh, very believable in that theory and they the information it exposes a lot of the globe earth theory and let me make something clear also um, I'm not a full globe earth believer so I'm kinda on the fence I'm a truth seeker I'm trying to figure out the truth I'm not here to believe one theory or the other I'm taking the truth from whatever theory and I'm, I'm building my own truth <laughs> okay I almost I almost walked into a lake look at this it's a lake I almost stepped into a lake walked over a cliff into a lake and that would have been real ugly if I <laughs> let me okay let me walk back this way so with the flat earth theory, why is it even important to, to figure out why if, if the earth is a, is, a, is a flat or if it's a, a globe? Why is this important? Why do we need to even know this? Why should you concern yourself even trying to figure it out? Well, we've been fed a narrative for a very long time by some very, very powerful people. 
I know, I know. The same old story. These, these mysterious, powerful, powerful people pulling the strings behind the scene, oppressing us and holding us down. But I think it's really important to figure out if that's the case. And part of figuring out if that's the case, we have to expose this information that is given to us. And even if we expose the information, they'll just they'll just reframe it and rephrase it into something else. Because they have some really intelligent people on the job to confuse us. So we gotta band together. This <laughs> and Aquarius is about the people banding together. That's part of the Aquarian power and Pluto's here. We and we have to come together and band together and get this information and work together. And we're working together so that we can get our power. And getting our power for what you're probably thinking. Getting our power to know why we're here. I think I feel that these types of uh, lies and misconceptions, like uh, like the Earth, Earth being a globe, and them telling us, okay, we went to the moon and we 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 have a space program. We spending uh, hundreds of billions of dollars on it. Of your of your tax money on on these and they probably these things probably don't exist there's no real proof of it it's just we us taking their word for it this is why it's so important for us to, de to debunk these theories and expose these lies this is why it's so important to even like have talks about these types of things and uh, with the with the flat earth theory it's it's like a not flat earth but the globe earth theory I'm, yeah, I'm calling it a theory it's about 500 years years old so for like the past 500 years we've ex we've accepted that the earth is a globe because supposedly people sail around the sail around the globe so therefore it's a globe and that's supposed to be definitive proof but I'm going to talk about some different aspects of the flat earth theory and kind of that and the parts that I'm going to bring up is going to be like things that expose the globe earth theory and make you question and say, hey, something's not adding up here. This, you know, that's not it's, it's not correct. So let's let's go on, let's go on and get started with the video. So with the I'm going to talk about just a few things from the flat earth theory because there's it's, it's a huge huge theory because of course it covers the, the earth. You're talking about the entire earth. And you're proving that the entire earth is flat. So, you know, I'm going to talk about just a few things. Can't talk about everything. Really, it would take me probably about four or five really in-depth good videos in order to do that. Which, you know, I'm only going to, this video is going to, only going to be like 20, 30 minutes long. But, let's talk about the flat earth. So, with, I, I want you, right now I want you to forget about all of your indoctrination. All of what you think you believe and what you think you know. And I want you to use your intuition, your common sense. And I want you to just take in this information that I that I throw at you, and you decide for yourself if it makes sense. Don't think about what you what you think you know or what someone said. Just what what do you what do you feel? And after this video is over, you can go back to your indoctrination or go back to you know whatever you believed before. I'll just ask you to open your mind. So basically, we are on a globe. According to the globe earth theory, we're on a globe and this globe is is spinning on an on a axis, spinning on an axis at 1,038 miles per hour. So it's spinning really, really fast according to what we've been told. This is what the big, the big dogs, NASA, the governments are telling us. This is what they're feeding us. The very smart people that we don't question, it's what they're feeding us. So I'm going with it. We have to take this and break it down and see if it makes sense. Check it for check it for 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 if for validity. Now, this this globe is is revolving around the sun at they say 66 67,000 miles per hour. Extremely fast. And keep 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 in mind. I just, you know, we're spinning at 1000 miles per hour and we're revolving around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour which is just ridiculously fast we don't feel anything there's no no wind no anything here nothing going on and you know supposedly it's explained away by saying that the, the atmosphere is tethered 
to the earth. So whatever, if an airplane flies in the atmosphere, it's not a part of outer space, it's still a part of the earth. They have it all covered. They're real thorough you know, on things that really just don't even make sense at all. And next, you, you have the you have the, the the whole entire solar system is circle is supposedly revolving around the galactic center at half a million miles per hour, 500,000 miles per hour. This is what they're giving us. This is what they're giving us. All of these uh these really big numbers and they seem arbitrary, but this is what they're giving us, and this is what we have to use to, to break down and check the truth. So, you know, what, does that make sense to you? What, what, what do you think about that? And, you know, we have the, we have the ocean, ocean, which is, uh, the earth is two thirds ocean, and it's tethered to the earth, and it doesn't float away from the earth, even though the earth is spinning at 1,000, 1,000 miles, 1,038 miles per hour. The Earth stays. It doesn't doesn't affect doesn't affect the ocean. Ocean doesn't fly off, even though it's doing all this spinning. But they say that the moon affects the ocean. So, you know, which, which is it? How can the moon affect the ocean when the, the spin of the Earth doesn't even doesn't even affect the motion the ocean? They say the moon affects the tides. It causes the the tides of the ocean. You know how you know. Wrap your mind around that. And with the moon, if, we, if we're going we're gonna to talk about the moon, the moon, we've only seen one face of the moon. We've never seen the other side of the moon. We've only seen one face of the moon. According to them, the one side of the moon is tethered to the earth. We only, we only see that one face of the moon. And I think the moon is spinning at like 10 miles per hour or something like this, according to them. And that leads to other conspiracy theories we, you know we could talk about the moon landing but that's a whole other discussion so I'm not even gonna go into that but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bypass the moon let's talk about the earth let's talk about specifically specifically on the earth now on the earth the the flat earthers according to their theory on the earth is flat and in order to, to to measure or you know do experiments to to show that the earth is flat we have to go to the ocean because the ocean is is flat it's definitely flat and it's easy to see if you if you if you measure the earth we got land forms mountains and stuff it's not flat so if you go on the ocean you're going to get guaranteed get a, glad, a flat surface and they've done experiment after experiment on the earth on on the Earth's oceans to figure out and show that the Earth is, is flat and not a not a globe. Like uh, one experiment, my favorite experiment is how about I let me I'm going to show you right here. Take a look right here. This is looking at right now is a book by Eric Dubay about the flat Earth theory, and uh, in this portion it talks about fi how to figure out that there is no curvature of the earth or if there actually is a curvature of the earth and now here's the information I'll just read it to you rather than try to explain it it says NASA and modern astronomers claim we are living on an oblate spheroid that is 25,000 statute miles in equatorial circumference with a curvature of about 8 inches to the mile varying inversely as the square of the distance meaning in 3 miles there's a declination of nearly 6 feet that means that if you're in the ocean and you look 3 miles forward uh, with the telescope I guess of course then anything less than six, 6 feet you should not be able to see from 3 miles and if you look 30 miles out anything under 600 feet you should not be able to see because of the declination of the earth and anything if you look 300 miles out anything under 60,000 feet you should not be able to see because of the declination of the earth okay so that's that's what we're, we're using here and uh, if we uh, take that information and uh, here's an example I've never been to this part of the world but I'll just uh, quickly show this to you um, the in the Irish Sea, there's a the, there's an Irish Sea, and then there's north of Wales, and there's the Isle of Man, and uh, it's about 60 miles apart, and you shouldn't be able to see your way across to either to either of these places from 60 miles out if you apply what I just showed you. 
and uh, what I my prime example here is lighthouses and I chose lighthouses because it's real simple now uh, I'll just uh, read some of this to you uh, flat earth enlightenment from lighthouses a copy of the book the lighthouses of the world and a calculator are enough to prove that the earth is not a globe but exceed but an extended flat plane the distance from which various light lighthouse lights around the world are visible at sea far exceed what can be found on a globe of 25,000 miles in circumference for example Dunkerque Light, which is a lighthouse in southern France, is at an altitude of 194 feet. is visible from 28 miles away. Now, if you just re if you remember what I just told you, uh, 30 30 miles away. Let's see, three three miles. So 30 miles away. Uh, anything. Let me go back and look at this. So, 30 30 miles 30 miles. If you look 30 miles out, you shouldn't see something that's less than 600 feet. So 30, from 30 miles out, you shouldn't see something less than 600 feet. So we, we go back. So this is 190, 194 feet, 194 feet. And it's from 28 miles away. So if you remember uh, 30 miles away, uh, anything less than 600 feet, you should not be able to see. And um, the other, another example, uh, Port Nicholson light in New Zealand is 420 feet above sea level, invisible from 35 miles away. So if you remember, if we we apply the same the same rule, the same same logic, uh, 30 it's approximately 30 miles away. So anything under 600 feet, you should not be able to see. And uh, another example, uh, the light at Madras. On the Esplanade is 132 feet high and visible from 28 miles away. Again, approximately 30, 30 miles away, anything under 600 feet, you're not supposed to be able to see. And uh, another example in my last example is the Statue of Liberty, uh, something that many of you are familiar with, particularly if you're from the U.S., but uh, Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty in New York stands 326 feet above sea level and on a clear day can be seen as far as 60 miles away. Remember, 30 miles away, anything under 600 feet, you, you shouldn't be able to see. So, hypothetically, you shouldn't be able to see the Statue of Liberty from 60 miles away, but according to this, you actually can. So this, these are my examples in, in talking about the curvature of the earth and determining whether we're on a globe or, uh, or a flat earth or something in between. You be the judge. Okay, and uh, I'll wrap the video up with this. There's so much to talk about with this whole theory that contradicts the, the globe earth theory, but I'm just going to talk about this part and then I'm going to wrap the video up. So now I'm going to talk about the poles. The poles. Now we have the North Pole, we have the South Pole. Now according to the, the Flat Earthers, there there is no South Pole. There's an ice wall, which they, they completely lost me on that. They also say there's a dome. Again, they've completely lost me on that. But I'll explore it and I'll check that for truth. But anyways, we, we have a North Pole and a South Pole. And according to, you know, common sense, you know, the, the both poles should be equal some it's somewhat equal temperature one shouldn't have some extreme temperature than the other just like on the equator it's, it's warm but the further you go away from the equator it gets cold so it shouldn't be uneven it should be relatively even but it's not because on the at the North Pole you have it's the average temperature all year round is four degrees just four degrees and uh, mind you, right now it's probably about 10 degrees here. So four degrees is not that cold. And at the at the, the North Pole, there's a there's a very diverse there's very diverse um, plants, animals, very diverse life at at the North Pole. So there's plenty of, of of rabbits, deer, some of everything, all kinds of life, trees grass everything they have seasons they have relatively decent seasons at the poles even you know even though it's cold but and there's even people that live very high up in latitude they don't go all the way up to the to the north pole but they live very high up 
in latitude. So there's people up, up there also. Now, if you compare that to the South Pole, in the South Pole, it's complete opposite. It's a desert, it's a wasteland, it's nothing but ice. Uh, it's, you don't have any animals. I think the only animal that, that they say is there are, uh, are penguins. And um, you might, I guess, maybe polar bears I mean, if you're near the ocean or, you know, around that area. And, uh, and there's, uh, I think, moss on the rocks. That's pretty much the extent of, of like, plants or uh, life that's not animals. So, you know, it's, it's polar opposites. So we got <laughs> polar opposites. You got the North Pole, which is relatively normal, and then you have the normal in terms of like what we experience what all most most humans experience relatively normal and then you have the south pole where it's pretty much dead and you know we, we could go into talking about the how the sun how the sun can be seen at the north pole versus how the sun can be seen at the at the south pole but i, I guess i'll save that for a, another video I'll analyze that later so some real heavy stuff going on and in the poles the poles are heavily guarded why are the poles heavily guarded i've made a video about the the hollow earth already and again it's really important to explore these theories um hollow earth video um that i talked about and the information about the hollow earth i talked about like it being these areas being highly demil uh, militarized it's lot in the South Pole is loaded with our people uh, as, a, as a, the UN the people that are part of the UN they're there and uh, they're protecting something there they're protecting something and they're using military might to protect it and you gotta you gotta ask yourself what are they protecting and you know are they and really and they're, they're protecting they're protecting something they're not protecting us because if we go there and into that area, they're gonna they're gonna get us out of there. They're gonna get the um, military planes and guns, and they're gonna get us out of there. So they're protecting whatever is there from us. They don't want us back there. And that leads me to believe there's some kind of a secret there that they don't want us to know. And you gotta always take your mind to that to that deep dark place of like what 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 type of secret and when you think seek when when you start thinking secret you know i'm thinking like the meaning of life and and uh finding out what the true narrative is and we're given a narrative that the earth is a certain way and i think it's all by design it's all for a reason and i think that it's set up that way to for to to control us and No one has to control us. No one, I, I didn't sign up for that. Maybe some people are okay with just relinquishing all of their power for just for a small amount of safety. But I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to get my, I want my full power and I hope you feel the same way. Anyways, I'm not gonna go too deep on this tangent. I'll do some more flat earth videos in the future, I guess. Uh, I'll probably not right away, but in the future. And I just wanna, open your mind up and uh, I just want to reach some real smart intelligent powerful people out there that that aren't <laughs> that that aren't that haven't been paid off or haven't been been, been uh, taken over yet that are willing to embark upon this and figure this out with us we we need to do this together and I, I just want to spark spark the flame to ignite some real powerful minds or or ignite a bunch of minds and we can we can make some 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 big explosions together with our minds and our knowledge so thank you for watching my video I appreciate you I love you all and happy Pluto in Aquarius today is January 20th 2024 I love you all and stand in your power